Right guys, we have reports regarding the iPhone 15 series. You heard me right, iPhone 15. And it's regarding the periscope zoom lens that could be coming to the 2023 iPhones. And so let's delve into it guys. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so this report's coming from Jeff Poo, a not so credible source, and so do take this with a massive grain of salt. However, I do want to mention that Ming Chi Kuo has mentioned this in the past, and he's way more credible, so this report should not be dismissed completely. So, what exactly does Jeff tell us? Well, he says the 2023 iPhones are going to come with a periscope zoom lens, which is going to offer 10 times optical zoom with these iPhones. Now, that's a pretty significant improvement over the three times zoom we see right now with the iPhone 13 Pro series. And I'm assuming the iPhone 14s won't bring any major improvements to the telephoto camera. So, yes, if you want major improvements to zoom, you might have to wait for the iPhone 15 series. And this does make sense because, of course, Apple is a company that does not give you everything at once. They want consumers to keep buying new iPhones. And so with the iPhone 14 series, they're going to give us one major camera upgrade. That's going to be the 48 megapixel main sensor. And then, of course, the iPhone 15 series brings the major telephoto improvements. And so giving us these pretty significant camera upgrades on a yearly basis is of course going to give many of us a reason to get the new iPhone. But anyways, coming back to the periscope zoom, you might be wondering how this works. Basically, this is a very long zoom module that's placed sideways within the phone and then a mirror is used to reflect the zoom onto the camera sensor. And so yeah, this periscope zoom module of course allows for much higher zoom on the iPhone, but of course it prevents the iPhone from being insanely thick. Now this is a feature that Android phones have had for many years, and I can see the benefits of having this with certain use cases. For example, there's a sign you need to read, it's very far away, so of course you can use your iPhone to zoom into the sign and read the information. And yes, I know these might be niche use cases, but to be honest, Apple making their cameras more versatile is definitely not a bad thing. And yeah, to be honest, if you're really against the periscope zoom sensor coming to the iPhone, you can always buy the regular iPhone 15 models. Those should basically stick to the wide and the ultra wides we've seen for many years now. But for those who like to take photos and shoot videos in a variety of scenarios with the iPhone, this feature could be a game changer. Since of course, high optical zoom is going to give you way more clarity with your shots compared to the high digital zoom we see right now. Talking about digital zoom, I am praying that Apple does not go the Samsung route and start giving us 100 times digital zoom with these periscope sensors, since I don't think anybody needs 100 times zoom, and so I do think Apple's better off capping the digital zoom at a more reasonable number like 30x. Anyways guys, tell me in the comments below, are you excited to see a periscope zoom lens finally come to the iPhone. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the cut above on details regarding the iPad Air 5. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.